I might. handful of steps backwards to be able to move a certain amount of steps forward into what I was trying to do. Before I started doing this, I managed about, at one point, like 200 units in Boston, um, spread all around Dorchester, Roxbury, Mattapan. I'm a quick learner, so I picked it up very well and uh, started to really learn how to make some money. I got lucky enough to live on the Boston Commons for about like a year and a half, and that's where really my dream developed. And I think it might have been because I just fell in love with that area. I fell in love with <laughs> with just that style, that style of uh, living, that the air is fresher, like, you know, waking up to a big yard, a big front yard every morning. That really, showed me what was out there. So it's like the vision really started to uh, spark, I guess, cause we were still figuring everything out at the point. So I never thought of it like that, but that's like really where the, the vision kind of like jumped off. And we used my, my living space as a, as a workspace, you know, at the time I, I didn't really care. Like I was just trying to, I was trying to find something. I was trying to figure it out so that I can live how I was living, but like for real, forever. The creative space started in Boston on the Boston Commons. Man, it's crazy to think that. At the time I had access to like a penthouse, you know, I was managing Airbnbs. I was doing a lot of stuff. And uh, you know, I would honestly say like, at the time I felt like money wasn't really an issue. Like I spent money like nothing. Like if I had it, you hungry? We hungry, we all eating. Like it, that was just that type of person. I've always been that type of person. Like if I'm ever trying to, if I ever have anything, I share it. I was living it up, but like, you know, I was getting underpaid. I might have made some money in the past, but like you know, as you grow, you like when you have a certain money, like you think you have money until you grow a little bit, and then you realize, well, that really wasn't money. So it was definitely a different lifestyle than I live now, and I feel like that it makes it a little harder now. Cause now I'm like a lot more conservative. Um, well, I have to be conservative. I had to move back in with my parents just just to be able to open my own space that where I can create and really really be a space away from home. The time I was in a relationship where my whole vision was was trying to come to life, and I think uh, having the having your creative space as your home space is just not. I don't think it's the ideal situation. You know, I originally thought about setting up a room in the back of, you know, my parents' house or whatever the case may be, but it's just like, nah, I needed some divide between my life and my dreams. So a space where I come to every day where I treat like a job just seemed the most uh, realistic option in order to really move forward. I took those steps back you know, moving into my parents' house, that was kind of like a huge step. It was, I felt super sad, but at the same time, I was happy because I was opening the space that you guys see me in every day. And that just meant so much more to me. Space meant so much more to me than having my own apartment. I had an apartment on my own since I got out of college. So this was, you know, it was a huge, it was a huge step back in my mind. I'm just like, damn. I felt like I was losing everything. It's, it's a blessing to be here, creating content every day. It's a blessing to be working with DDK family, with Marlon. Um, it's just crazy how within, I mean, I would say a year, a few years is a short period of time. Like It's just crazy how within a short, a few years, like you put your mind to something and you really focus in on it, what can happen? I think what's important is your intent. Because even if you're going backwards or some stuff happens to make you go backwards, as long as you intend to go forward, I feel like that's where you're going to go. The move is always going to be forward. It actually makes me a little bit more happy that I just thought about all that stuff because it just shows me how far I came. Like I went from having no space, not my own space. I, at one point when I was living in Boston, I did live in a closet. 
a closet sized room uh, by my choice. So we can talk about that another time. Um, but yeah, and I opened that space up and then I moved to a, a little apartment upstairs and it, it just started growing and growing and growing and growing right in front of my eyes. And I just, you know, I flowed with it. I, you know, I stayed true to what I wanted to do, even though I didn't have a full idea of how I was going to do it, how I was going to make realistic money off of it. I stayed true to to this camera. I hate to like even say it's about money, but like, yo, I left so much money on the table. Uh, sometimes I'll be thinking about it. Like sometimes I want to smack myself in the face, but at the same time, it's not even all about money. It's about your happiness. And to keep it 100% honest, I wasn't happy. I was losing myself. Yo. <laughs> I got you here on my vlog and I and I, I just started thinking about something. I want to get your perspective on something. Remember that spot that I had in Boston? Like, how'd you, like, what'd you feel about that spot? Like, when I had it, like, when I had access to the penthouse and all that, and all that stuff, like. It was, was lit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, when you see stuff like that, like, you want to work harder. You're like, yo, I want this. Like, you know what I mean? I need this. Facts, facts. Um, it made me happy because I see my doing good. So that makes me feel good. Like, I right, like, I'm getting to it. So, like, it made me, I was happy. Well, how'd you feel when I didn't have it anymore, and I and I and I was when I was when I had to move back home? That was, that was kind of like a bummer for me, but. Spent so much money on food, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. as real as it gets y'all it's like the inside perspective of you know so yeah that just goes to show y'all like whatever you're going through you can get by it it's just a challenge get through it figure out a plan and attack it find out what's next until then that's what i'm trying to do